Hey everyone, how it's going? This is Harish Dalal and welcome to our channel Code Chef. So the problem today we'll be taking is snake procession and the code for which is S N A K P R O C. It is a cakewalk problem and it is from past snake down online qualifier 2017 round. So the prerequisites are none and let's get to the problem definition. So this is the problem definition. The annual snake festival is upon us, and all snakes of the kingdom have gathered to participate in the procession. Chef has been tasked with reporting on the procession, and for this, he decides to keep track for all the snakes. When he sees a snake first, it will be its head, and hence he will mark a H. The snakes are long, and when he sees the snakes finally slither away, he will mark a T. to denote its tail in the time in between when the snake is moving past him or the time between one snake and the next snake he will mark dot so whenever the snake is moving from its head to tail he will mark dot dot unless the chef sees the snake still and whenever uh, the gap between any two snakes he will also mark dot for them like this so the first snakes arrived here and then it continued till its tail arrived and later after some time another snake arrived and finally its tail might have arrived so because the snakes come in a procession and one by one a valid report would be something like h t means first head coming and then tail then again another snakes head and then tail and then head and tail or like this head tail but whereas t h h t means starting from t and then h and h and then t a snake couldn't start with a tail and end with a head so it is not a valid report or h t h means h t h as the tail of this snake is missing so it is also not a valid report formally a snake is represented by h followed by some dot and then a t so a valid report is one such that it begins with a possibly zero length string of dot so chef can binged on the festival food and had been very drowsy so his report might be invalid you need to help him and find out if his report is valid or not so if the the if the report is valid if we have to output valid else we have to output invalid in such cases where the report is invalid so how to approach this problem let's see so we will be given t test cases and for each test case we are given a integer n which is the length of the report and then the string which is the report so the string could be h dot dot t dot h dot anything like that and we have to output whether the report is valid or invalid so we will what we can do is we can create a new string which will just store the character which is not a dot means just h and t we we can remove the middle and starting and all the dots from the report so it doesn't matter whether the snake is of length 2 or 3 or 1 we just need to check whether a snake has head as well as tail to verify whether it is a valid report so we can just remove the body part we don't have to check uh, whether the snake has a body or not and we can also remove that dot which are between two snakes means if this is the report we can also remove these dots because we don't need to check whether there is a distance between two snakes or not we just have to check whether a snake has a head and preceded by a tail so we can we can just store all the characters h and t in a new string so for example if our initial string was h dot 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 h dot dot t dot 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 s t dot 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 h t so we can store by like this first is h then t then h 
then T H and T. So our new string will become like this, excluding all the dots from the initial string. Now how to check whether this now how to check whether the initial report was valid or not by this new string. So according to the uh, valid report, every snake should have a head and proceed proceeded by a tail. So the length of the new string should be even because every head should have a tail. So therefore the whole new string should be a multiple of two. Each snake is denoted by a head and then proceeded by a tail. So the new string should be even and on every even positions like this 0, 2, 4 as we are indexing from 0 so on every uh, even index there should be a head and on every odd index like 1, 3 and 5 there should be a T because uh, we need a tail just after our head. A snake could not be like that like our starting with head and ending with a head or like that or like that. So these three conditions are uh, invalid and this condition is valid where h should be first and t should be second. So every even index should have a h and every odd index should have a t. So if this both conditions satisfied like the new string which we created with our initial string is of length is even in length and second rule is second condition is if every even index has an h and every odd index has a t so if these both conditions satisfies then we can say the report is valid report as this is invalid report now we can jump to the coding part uh, before that you can try it on yourself and later come to check out the solution here so let's get to the coding part <coughs> For writing the code, I am selecting C++ language. You can select any language you want, like C, C++, Java, Python, etc. So first, we'll be taking t test cases, and running the loop for t test case. Uh, this while loop suggests that for every iteration, t will be decremented by one, and unless and until our t becomes zero, we will run this loop. For each test case, we will be giving two inputs. First is the length of our report and second is the report itself which is a string format. Now let's create a new string to store our new report which is just the characters excluding all the dots. To creating that, we will run a loop for the length of our string which is n and if the character in our initial report is not equals to dot then we will increment then we will add that character to our new string now our new string is ready st now we have to check whether this uh, is a valid report or not so to store the validity we will create a boolean answer which is initially initialized to true now as I mentioned that our length should be even the first condition is the length should be even because every snake has a head and a tail so if there are two snakes then there will be three heads and three tails In, uh, that means our st becomes six which is even if there are two snakes then there are two heads and two tails means the length is 4 so the length of our string our report should be even so let's check if st dot length uh, st is our new string not the initial string as we created we excluded all the dots if it is uh, 
odd means if the modulus with 2 if we divide with 2 and the remainder is not equals to 0 means it is odd then we can directly say that answer is false else now to check the second condition the second condition was all the even indexes should have a h and all the odd indexes should have a t and if this condition is true then our report is a valid report so i will run a loop now in this case i am running my loop for 0 to the length of the new string which i have created not the initial string whose length was n but it's the new string length could be uh, smaller than or equal to n so i am writing st dot length here now if i am at an even index so how to check that if i is mod 2 is equals to 0 means i am at even index and at even index if there is a t so which is a false condition so if at this index my st is a tail means at even index there is a tail then answer should be false and another condition is checking on the odd indexes else so if it is not even then the index will be false so on odd indexes if our character is h means h t h t h t if on the odd index these this and this 1 2 uh, 1 3 and 5 if any of this index contains an h then it is wrong it is false it is not valid so if st i is h then the answer should be false and finally ch checking if the answer is true then output valid else output invalid uh, make sure to check the spelling of valid and invalid it should not be wrong the v and i are capital here so let's let's discuss the time complexity here we are iterating over the string of length n to create a new string so the complexity for this for loop is o of n later we are checking whether each character on all index and even index are correct or not so the complexity for this for loop was, is also o of n so the overall time complexity is o of n let's submit this so yeah we got a correct answer so that's it guys from my side this problem was a practice problem to help you upskill in your snackdown journey snackdown is a highly competitive programming event where coders across the globe participate under the same roof uh, it is an experience you do not want to miss and so keep practicing and check out other problems in the mock contest see you in the next one